Welcome to this, the first part in a series of YouTube videos where I intend to create a birthday reminders application. But before we get into what we'll be doing, perhaps a, a brief introduction would uh, be in place. In about 2016, I think it was, I wrote myself a birthday reminder application using Microsoft Access. The idea was that it should send out emails to family members reminding them of relatives' birthdays. It lists all members of my family with their dates of birth. There is also a built-in countdown so that email reminders are set out, sent out 21 days, 14 days and 7 days before the birthday. One further feature is that for children under 18, the email also states the age they will attain at the next birthday. A Windows Scheduled Tasks task starts the application every day at half past one, when I can be reasonably sure the computer will be switched on and I'll be having lunch, so will not interrupt any other work I may be doing. And if any reminders are due, they will be emailed. Before we go any further, it might be just a, an idea just to have a quick look at that. Here is the Microsoft Access uh, application. It's not very difficult. Um, we have some uh, a menu here with uh, people. So I click on that and in here I can maintain all my relatives with their name, date of birth and email address. Now this isn't always relevant for people who are particularly young, uh, but for the people who will receive emails, this is required. So we can maintain people here. The main item here is the setup reminders. And on the left hand side, we have all the people who are in the database. And on the right hand side, who email reminders will be sent to. So for example, Alistair White's birthday, whenever that is, will be sent to these people down here. And they will receive reminders 21 days, 14 days and seven days before the relevant birthday. I can send off reminders automatically here. Uh, or I could just leave it for the Windows task to send them off uh, every day at half past one. The application doesn't have to be running. It can be sitting, well, it doesn't have to be running. Uh, the Windows task scheduler uh, will start the application and then send the emails. So although that access application has served me well since I wrote it, it does mean that I have to maintain all the birthdays for all members of the family. I've therefore decided to see if I can develop an application where each family member is responsible for maintaining their own list of relatives and other friends with their birthdays. This will also allow other members of my family to add people I am unaware of and remo re removes the burden of data accuracy from me. The application I have in mind is going to be a uh, Blazor application using C Sharp. It's going to be a web application, so therefore uh, my other members of the family will be able to access it from wherever they are. Once again, I'll use C Sharp, Blazor, Dapper and Syncfusion as the tools to create the application. In addition, the application will require a timer type control to check on a daily basis whether any emails should be sent out. I have identified Hangfire as a potential answer to this requirement. As it will be a web application, I will also need a robust authentication tool where initial email verification can be implemented. For this I've decided to use Microsoft Azure Active Directory B2C. For my purposes, it should be free and hopefully not too difficult to implement. So what is Microsoft Azure B2C? It's an identity management system hosted in Azure. It's a login system that allows users to sign up themselves uh, to your application using their email address. Their email address is verified by sending them a verification code which they confirm they have received and 
if they should lose their password, they will be able to reset it themselves. So no intervention required by, by me. Why Microsoft Azure B2C? Firstly, it's going to save me an awful lot of coding, and that's always uh, desirable. But in a way, what is also almost more important is it removes responsibility for data protection of the users from me to Microsoft. I won't be uh, recording any users' uh, login details or passwords. That will all be maintained by Microsoft. And the other added bonus is that uh, Microsoft Azure B2C is free for up to 50,000 users. I, I can't imagine I will have anything near 50,000 users, possibly you know, a, a couple of dozen at most. Uh, so I'll certainly not hit that kind of limit. B2C uh, actually stands for business to consumer. Uh, there are other uh, offerings from Microsoft, such as B2B, business to business, but B2C uh, means consumers, therefore it, it can be anybody. It doesn't have to be within your own organization. As I said briefly, uh, I'm going to use Hangfire uh, as a method of performing the background processing for checking daily uh, whether any emails are to be sent out. Uh, this is also free uh, for private or commercial use. There is a professional version of it, which we certainly won't be needing. Now, perhaps a taster of what the, or a preview of what the final product is going to look like. I'm going to be hosting the application on Azure Web Apps. And uh, if I type in the website that I want to go to, which is https birthday reminders .net, it will take me to this sign in page. I've already set up my account uh, with so I can now log in using my email address and password. So that's the Azure B2C aspect of it. And this is the Blazor application. Uh, it's going to consist basically of just one page um, where users will be able to set up their relatives with uh, their first name, last name, and date of birth. So if I wanted to add a new person, I click add, I put in a name, and their date of birth. And it's going to be, I'm logged in as Christopher Bell at blazercode.uk. Therefore, all reminders are going to be sent to that address. And it's as simple as that. Um, I'll be able to sort by first name, last name, or date of birth, but it will automatically default with the next person's birthday at the top of the list. I've got here, but won't expose to the end users, a manual email way of setting, sending things out. So if I need to, I could send out birthday reminders automatically uh, by, well, not automatically, but I can send out birthday reminders by clicking here. If I click there, we'll see that no one with an upcoming birthday was found. Um, there is also a Hangfire dashboard, which I won't show at the moment, um, principally because uh, it doesn't work, um, but I can access it when I run the application locally. So that's the a preview of the application. It may not look exactly like this by the time we've finished. Um, the next stage is going to be the uh, creation of the Azure B2C service. So that'll be the the topic for the next video. I'll put a link in the description here for anything that I think is relevant and uh, please look out for the next video and thank you very much for watching this.